Hi there, my name is Nils, and I'm doing a quick video here just to talk to you about how to get rid of dandruff. And I'm speaking from experience. This is something that I've dealt with for most of my life, my adult life at least, and have been able to get rid of it altogether. So here's a few things that are gonna work for you. The first one is what I use every day. Um, I use just regular Head and Shoulders Clinical Strength Shampoo. So you can get this stuff at the grocery store. Um, it's a little, it costs a little bit more than regular shampoo, but it's totally worth it. It takes care of it. It's got this active ingredient called selenium sulfide, and that really just does the trick. I'm not sure what it is about it, but it works, and it works really well. So I use this every day as my regular shampoo, then condition my hair with whatever suave or whatever, and it takes care of it. I have not had any dandruff on my scalp for years, and it's been awesome not to have to deal with that. So that's the first thing I would recommend. Dandruff is, is actually called seboric dermatitis, and if you've got sebderm or seboric dermatitis, you can also get it on your face. So if you've seen um, signs of that on your face where it gets red or itchy, um, here's a picture I've got where um, I took when I was going through this and had this problem, um, you can get rid of it using the same shampoo. So you can actually rub it on your face while you're washing your hair in the shower or bath, and that's supposed to really help out. What I found that it wasn't quite enough, so there are two other solutions I wanna talk to you about um, that have worked. So. The first one is good old apple cider vinegar, or ACV. So this stuff, weird as it may sound, it actually works really well to get rid of your um, dandruff or your subderm on your face or your scalp. So you can use it just like shampoo or you can use it to get rid of the subderm on your face as well by rubbing it in. You may choose to dilute it. I would try starting out with a diluted version, so mix it with water and then apply it. And if that's not quite cutting it for you, then go full strength. I've also heard people say that it gets worse before it gets better, and that may be the case with you, but give it a try. Um, again, I'd start with the uh, sh head and shoulder shampoo first and see how that goes. And then if neither of those work, go see your dermatologist. Here's, here's some stuff that uh, I got from my dermatologist called Promiseb, and basically what it is is a topical ointment that you can use. There's a shampoo for it and a topical cream, and that's what I use on my face every uh, probably about once a week or every two weeks when my skin gets really dry and I just need a refresh for my skin and need to get rid of those flakes and things like that. So I use Promiseb every one, one or two weeks and then I supplement that with the head and shoulders in the shower. Just rub that on my face after I've shampooed my hair and just use the suds from the shampoo and then that takes care of it for me and I don't have to worry about it. So those are a few things that I would recommend that you give a try. Um, everybody's gonna have different experiences, but I'm pretty sure that between these three products, especially these first two, um, the shampoo and the apple cider vinegar, that you'll find something that works for you. Um, if you have questions or comments or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I wanna hear what's working for people and what's not, and hopefully we can all help each other out and kick dandruff to the curb for good. So thanks for watching. I've got lots of other cool videos on my channel, so feel free to subscribe, look around, see what else you've got, and we'll talk to you soon.